it was a long path, but of course I was a professional chess player in high school. Uh, that's what I really did instead of going to school. I struggled in college between being a student, which I was diligent in the school year, but then doing nothing but playing chess in the summers. And when I got to graduate school, I was torn. I again dropped out of school for a while. I represented the United States in the World Chess Championships. And I think it you know, took me a long time to sort of uh, have a more professional attitude towards economics. What really sparked that is there just you know, came a turning point at some point where I became incredibly passionate about it. And then suddenly it was all uh, very easy. And the, I think the paper that did that was when I started writing about, I wrote the first paper about why it's good to have independent central banks and why you might want to give them a framework like inflation targeting. I wrote this uh, more than 30 years ago when none of the central banks were independent except maybe the Bundesbank and the Fed. And it's since become a wave. And I, I still remember sort of waking up at night and writing equations on the floor you know, as I work things out. And I think that was a real turning point.